Why would Arsenal even want to entertain players like Rafinha and Vlajevic, the players that snubbed us for Barcelona and um, Juventus? Do you know what I mean? I won't go back for them. I don't know why we. I don't know why like all these links are going to them two players, but it's strange to me. Afternoon and welcome back to the Army Football Dad's Army. I'm seeing reports that Arsenal are being linked to Rafinha. Do you remember him from last year? He went to Barcelona from Leeds, snubbed Arsenal. Arsenal, apparently, he was like, you know, he was twerking for Arsenal and then decided he wanted to go to Barcelona. Um, Arsenal are now apparently linked to sign him as a, we could only be a backup for Bakayu Saka because. But Kai Saka uh, is not gonna he's not gonna relinquish his place on that right wing. Rafina is a right winger inverted because he's, he's he does uh he is left footed predominantly, he can play on the left as well. But we've got enough players over there on that left with Trossard and Martinelli and Smith Row. You know, there's enough players over there that can play on that left hand side. So but we do need the backup for Bukayu Saka. I said before I like the idea of Frimpong coming in. To um to back him up, I know he's a right back, but I reckon he can play further up the field. I think he can do that. That's the player that I would go for to to be a backup for Bukayo Saka. But Rafinha being linked, do you reckon he he would play second fiddle to Saka? I'm not so sure. I don't think he would come to Arsenal. I think it's more of these bullshit, uh, you know, just just we're linked to everyone type. Scenarios that you're hearing all over the internet. Another player Arsenal were linked to is um, Michael Olisi, the Crystal Palace right winger as well. I can't see that one either because he's played. He, when he was fit, he was playing every minute for Crystal Palace, the same as what Bukayo Saka does for for Arsenal. But this thing with Rafinha has got me, it's got me a little bit twisted. You know what I mean? It's got me a bit. Think, why would we want to go back in for a player like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that he, he will be committed enough. The same as Vlajevic. You know, Vlajevic went to Juventus, snubbed Arsenal uh, back in that January. Not January, just gone the one before. Don't go for players that refuse to come before. That's my motto. Why would Arsenal even want to entertain players like Rafinha and Vlajevic? The players that snubbed us for Barcelona and um, Juventus. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't go back for them. I don't know why we. I don't know why like all these links are going to them two players, but it's strange to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and uh, stick a like on the video, and I'll see you soon.